Hey everyone and welcome back. I have an art show coming up in just a couple of weeks, so I've had to take a back seat on Old Pickle and some of my other projects so that I can actually get some stuff done to sell. And I've taken apart an old sewing machine, and I have a plan for this to be kind of a high wheel bicycle slash tricycle. The other pieces of the sewing machine I'm going to use for something else, but the idea is that piece is going to go there. I'm going to have to probably cut some of that off. Uh, then this will go here. See if I can hold all that together. And then on the back side, these two little caster wheels will go like that. I'll have to play around with the, the positioning of the wheel. Probably needs to be about like that. That looks pretty good. Uh, so that is underway. Here's kind of what I've come up with so far. The back wheels uh, will go in closer together. I moved them out because they are like a vinyl rubber and welding over there. I didn't want to burn them up. This is a razor up on top. This is a pop-off valve, steam valve. And it is, I can't weld to it. I could braze to it, but then I just threaded it into a, a nut that I could weld to. This is the back part of a sewing machine. I broke it getting it out of the machine, so I had to weld it back together. This is a Ford tractor, I believe. Wrench was already bent to that shape. And then a chain connector. And then I'll taper in those handlebars. I don't like how bulky those are. Coming along. This will kick back. Back inside and there'll be a pedal for my little guy I'm going to build. So the stopper hits right there. And I'll probably have to bend that out just a little bit. That'll be one of his pedals. And then the other pedal is going to be this piece here. Let me get over there so I can show you. I've got a little bit of a tip going on. But I'm going to pack, I'm actually going to pack this bearing, or this uh, socket that's in there. And take out that'll take out all that slap there and then in the back that axle is actually going to get welded to that and it'll the wheels will be what spins not the axle so that slap will be gone this will be our other pedal and these are sewing machine parts of that machine i took off So it will roll, but it will not steer. I didn't make it steer. I should have, but it wouldn't stand up as nice. It would always want to be kicking one way or the other. Everything's just tacked. I think he's looking pretty cool. You know, you have the offset. Because on the machine, you know, you've got... It's running the belt and the pulley. So when I made my, my ramp up here, I had to offset it slightly. I think it looks okay though. It's going to clean up really nice. And I'm pleased that it'll actually stand on its own. Even bringing the wheels in, they'll touch or be real close to touching back here. Even bringing those in, it's pretty stable. So the balance, I had to put this light on and just adding this threaded piece here and this I say light, this uh, steam valve was enough to counterweight what we've got here. And I could always drill this open in the back and add a little sand or something to it and then just braze the back of it closed. Now I got everything kind of tacked where it goes. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do if I want to put these little, I've got two of these little rings. I'm going to see if I like those in there. I don't know. 
kind of makes the wheel look weird. Probably just black. And then I got a key sitting here. I don't know that that's going to stay. Set of points here. Again, don't know that that's going to stay. And I've cut off the front axle to about where it needs to be. I've got a case of the leans going on. That magnet's pulling us over. There we go. don't know, I thought about doing maybe like a fender in the back. Kind of gives it an interesting look. Let me bend that up a little bit. I don't know, I kind of like those on there. Probably be better though if I use some kind of, rather than throw the copper in, I don't have any brass. Oh, what do you think? I kind of like it. Not sure I like the color. What do you think on that? You know, there's a guy I follow uh, on YouTube, and I made a comment on one of his videos. It's Handbuilt Bob. And I made a comment on a, on a tail light he put on something. He said, you know, sometimes the parts just find you. And he's not wrong. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little red jewel on the end of that. Came off of this old fishing real. This is a Shakespeare. Uh, Shakespeare Professional. And there's the number on it. But I was digging through a box of stuff trying to find something I could stick back here. Kind of for a taillight. And that just found me. And I think that's going to be perfect. Our perfect little taillight. So we'll keep that for the taillight. That'll have to be epoxied on too small of an area for me to break. Plus, I don't want to ruin the, the little jewel that's on there. Then this little piece, uh, I can't, it's not, it doesn't have any ferrous metal in it, but I think it's going to clean up really pretty and be able to use that. But what I really want is this little handle off of here. And uh, I think I can use that for a foot peg onto this little piece. Let's see what we can come up with. So that's what that looks like on there. I think that looks pretty good. And then I did change out the key. And I... This is a piece off of the machine. The sewing machine I took apart. And uh, I have to straighten that screw out. But I think I kind of like that better. Kind of gives it some balance and ties in this circle. Still trying to decide what I think about the fender. Obviously, the shape's not exactly perfect, but I don't know. I've added uh, these little screws up here, and I added a key here. All this stuff will get ground down and cleaned up and polished up, wire wheeled and all that. So right now, just trying to do the mock-up to see where we're at. I like this. I wish I could find another one of those. That is perfect. I actually think I have another fishing reel. I could go look and see if it has a handle on it. I like it. I'm just kind of playing around with different things. I liked the look of what the way that fender made it kind of lengthen a little bit on the copper, but I like these a lot better. And it's just it's a like a, a pipe holder piece, and it had you know two screws that went on each side. To make this other one work, I'll have to cut that off. And again, it's like a, a brass, so I probably will have to stick a bolt down through it and then weld that to a platform that goes across. I, I really like that on there. Take a look at that. Kind of interesting the way that it does the flip on each end. I like that better than the copper, I think. You know, this this kind of elongates it. I think the color will go better with that. Let me wire wheel uh, this one. I also think it's kind of cool because it says USA on it.
Let me wire wheel that and see what color we get. Really like the color that that pops in there. I think we'll go with those. I'm going to have to kind of modify this one. And I have a copper set of these, the kind that I use for when I make the, the little tube bud vases. I'll show what I'm talking about. Split ring hanger. That was the word I was looking for earlier, but I don't think the copper uh, would look as cool as the brass. So I'm going to cut off the stem that's on this one. And it will just have a hole in it. I think that'll be fine. Um, I might be able to leave, uh, kind of cut it down and, and leave this flat piece and then just hammer it over. I might try that first. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plan on using those. I like that. All right, I hammered that over. I got a little bit trigger happy. So I'll probably have to repair that little split there. But I think those look pretty good on there. I'm liking, I'm liking the color. I think the color complements it better than the copper. Um, yeah. And then this other side, I think I'm just going to weld that to that. And then this, whoops. Try that again here. Weld it like, it's not cooperating. Weld it like that. And basically, that'll get welded right there in parallel with that other side. So I think that will tie everything in. So I think we're pretty much ready to uh, kind of final assembly it. This here, I'm going to probably break these things off I have tacked and kind of smooth, kind of taper this, sh this top of this front fork here. I don't really like that. Oh, the other thing I thought about adding... Was maybe a spring up front here. Let me see if I can find one. This one's actually probably a little better. That's out of the sewing machine. Yeah, that's a little better. I'm just see if I can find another one that's about oops, about that size. I went over here to uh, the spring store and I found one that's that's close. It's not exact. It's a little bit bigger. But I think that's probably as close of one as I'm going to find in my hoard here. Yeah, I don't really like anything else I have to choose from. I think that's too big. This would probably... Let's see what that one looks like. I've probably got a couple of those. You can't see nothing, can you? Let me see if I can get that. I found a couple that are close. They're, the one is a little bit smaller diameter spring and a little bit different length. And I'll never get that back out of there. I think those might work though. A little bit different. Building a, something like this, it's funny because you got to have two of everything. Just pairing it up on the side. But I'm thinking if I kind of pulled that up. I think that might work. I might even be able to hook that one down in. Down here. tedious little project. That might work. Let's see what we can do with that. Alright, I've got those two springs kind of rigged close to where I want them. This one actually worked out pretty good being a little shorter. So I had to go around that side. I don't have it tacked yet. I just got a magnet, small magnet holding it. I like those. Those They need to be wire wheeled before I weld them on there. And then we need to come up with something uh, to hold these fenders on. And then I think we've about got it. So everything can kind of be finish welded. The front looks kind of messy right now. But I think that's going to work. And then... 
I'll have to weld tab across those or thread it. Well, this is kind of what I have ended up with. I think I'm pretty well done with it. As done as I'm going to be. Everything is solid together. I put bearing grease uh, right here in the front. There's a socket that's actually running in the hub there. But it moves, so it rolls. My table's kind of gritty. Uh, steam valve. I couldn't weld to that because it's not weldable. It has no ferrous metal in it. So then I just uh, screwed it into a piece, a nut, and welded that to... Uh, this is off the sewing machine. This is the shaft out of this piece here. And on a sewing machine, it's the top part. I'll show you on mine where that so came So this from. piece right here is that piece I was talking about on my sewing machine. So it's about... 13 inches long. Yeah, let's see here. Hang on. Yeah, about nine inches tall. That's a pretty good size. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out, though. Pretty cool piece. The problem is, I'm not going to want to part with it now. thought about doing like a mud flap hanging down but maybe not we'll see all right everyone I think I've got this where I kind of where I want it it's about as good as I can do given the pieces I have to work with I did not film each piece of putting it together because that's kind of boring just tack weld here tack weld there kind of gets boring just kind of walk around. Let me see if I can get some better light on that. I don't know if that helps us or hurts us. Light-wise. Kind of making a weird shadow. Just random piece parts. A lot of them are off that sewing machine I took apart. This big piece here is off the sewing machine. Uh, the piece that's underneath that basically is the frame for the body is off of the sewing machine. All of these screws... So you got this one here, here, this little one over here, I did not weld it, so it actually still moves. I probably should have welded it, because it'll probably get lost. This one's off of the sewing machine. Obviously the front wheel, front tire, is off of there. The belt on the sewing machine would run right here, down to the motor. Uh, this piece here is the presser foot lifter, so when you would go to lift the presser foot... And that screws off of there, off of the machine as well. I just welded it to that. So the only thing I've left to do on it is to cut a little groove. I need to come in on all four axles. And that is not focusing. And cut a little groove here. And right there. And actually probably will cut a groove just for that spring to fit into it. I'm going to put in uh, just some snap rings over the axles to hold the wheels on. That is hardened steel. Those are out of that sewing machine. There's no way you're drilling through that. There's no way I'm drilling through it. Someone else might have the equipment to do that. I don't. So we're going to oil it up, put snap rings on it, and call it not focused. Call it done. Thanks, everybody. Catch you next time when we're building something else from the old crusty junk pile over here. Oh, thought I might mention too. Check out my little bins I got from the auction. They've worked out absolutely perfect here. And I've still got several that I haven't used. And I moved my moved my copper scrap to one too. So those have worked out fantastic. So with that, I'm signing off for now. Vroom, vroom.